Well, new here at 6 o'clock, Greenville County District 25, celebrating its 60th anniversary as a district started in January of 1963. Now, we've mapped out the District 25 right there for you. You can see where it is inside of Greenville County with I-85 running straight through it and being near 385. And for much more on this really historic event, you know, 60th anniversary, now I want to bring in County Councilman Anna Svant. So thank you so much for joining us. You're saying this is a unique history. Why is that? It really is a unique history. It's it's amazing how District 25 kind of came together organically in the early 60s. It mm -hmm. uh, wasn't planned, wasn't mapped out. It was just a, depending on events of history okay. at the time, which allowed it to come together right in the midst of the uh, civil rights era. And, mm -hmm. and it was just a unique situation that, that came together. It's a rich history. People don't know about it. So right. by celebrating our 60th anniversary, we thought this was a good way not only to celebrate the past, appreciate where we are today, but really begin to strategize and map out some great challenges for the future as we move forward. All right, you're talking about the challenges, a lot of the growth going on. Absolutely. Uh, especially, how are you able to manage that? As, as far as, you know, there's been a lot of conversations about making sure that this, this growth benefits everybody. Right. So where is that middle ground? Because you, you've been serving for a long time. Right, and, and one, of the, one of the things we take great pride in mm -hmm. with regards to District 25 is you don't have the gentrification sure. uh, subject come up in our district. Um, and we've worked tirelessly to make sure yep. that doesn't happen. Um, so, so far, so good mm -hmm. there. But we do have some challenges. We, we, we have to improve home ownership. You know, Greenville County is normally 60% home ownership, 40% rentals. Okay. In District 20, 25, we're reversed. We're 60% rentals, 40% home ownership. Mm -hmm. We have to get those numbers up, which increases income, which increases economic input into the community, which allows for grocery stores, restaurants, things that make a community viable. So home ownership is a critical aspect of the future. We've done a good job in bringing in industry and job creation, mm -hmm. but the home ownership piece is the big piece going forward as far as long-term economic viability. Okay, and you know, going, going forward, we're celebrating this anniversary, fast forward, we, we've got another 60 years. What do you think that looks like for District 25? We think, you know, our motto is yesterday, uh, our theme is yesterday, today, and forever. And for that ever, forever to be a really true mm -hmm. and gentrification, not eradicate the only last majority minority district in Greenwood County, we have to make sure that District 25 is attractive. And what we're really trying to do is send a message to, to people of color who don't live in District 25, who live in Malden, Simpsonville, Fountain. Mm -hmm. It's okay to live in District 25. In fact, it's fun. <laughs> Come join us. We're going to improve home ownership is, is one. But right now, for example, people who rent, Many people in our district are spending 70% of their income on rent and utilities. Mm. 70%. That doesn't leave money for a car payment. It doesn't leave money for insurance on the car. Uh, it doesn't leave money for groceries of any substantive manner. Mm. So that is the whole push. Not only pull, cre increase home ownership, but we've got to get more people of color who are middle income, upper middle income, to recognize this is a great place to live. Come join us, be a part of the community, and that is the absolute only way that we can keep gentrification from knocking on the door and pushing those of us who are there now into the Saluda River. So we got to really work hard together to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, Councilman Fant, thank you so much, and uh, the upstate continues to grow. So it'll be one of those things that we'll be watching very closely. So thank you for the invitation. Thank you so much.